Alright, so we got <coughs> aluminum wiring going into copper wiring right there. <coughs> I just sprayed for roaches. <coughs> A little stinky in here. Aluminum wiring going to copper wiring. This is your plumbing, which is not exactly... Yeah, there's your main water line right there. That big fat one that's going crosswise. And then the one below it's a drain line. There's a half inch water line for the hot water, which goes over to there. And this is your cold water coming in. There's a shutoff valve right here. I don't know if it works or not. It's been in here a long time. This is your pressure bleed off. Might have to seal that hole. A lot of holes here to seal up. We keep getting mice and, uh, and roaches in this house. And we have some old termite damage here. Uh, I got these new countertops to go in. Pretty nice looking. Uh, I was going to put them in, but I'm debating whether I should uh, work on this hot water heater or not. Uh, so that's my problem right there. Do I put a new hot water heater in or not? It's $400 for the hot water heater, and then I'm gonna have to put fittings and new shutoff valves and stuff in it. Hot water heater works great, super hot, but that wiring is incorrect. Definitely needs to have the uh, and if I put the countertop on. Am I going to be able to get this out? That's the question. How hard will it be to get it out once I put the countertop down? Because the countertop is one piece all the way across. Uh, we had a metal lid on this section for a countertop, which looked pretty ghetto. So, uh, with the one piece countertop, how is that going to affect me getting it out? It'll be pretty, pretty damn tight to get it out. Um, so... That being said, I'm going to send this to the boss man and see what he says to do.